hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, in this video also so guys as you can see on the screen in this video what we are going to learn today it is like how we can enable url authorization see the situation is for example you have active directory domain controller and you have certain users and group and you want to give access to those users okay so for that they will have to submit their username and password and then only they will get the uh, authorization okay first authentication uh, then authorization so this is what we are going to learn so in this uh, going further uh, going further uh, we will understand couple of things about it so i will tell you a few basic things see who can access websites we can define who can access that website either users or groups we can assign permission to those users or group basically it is allow and deny and then in older days it was little tough because needed to configure permission on file or folders okay and but if you talk about this version of iis it is very easy easy uh, this one is very easy now you can apply rules or uh, on url rather than resources so very simple in this i will show you how to make it so before going further i would like to show you a few things like you know this is my active directory i'm using this as my active directory as well as, uh, as, well as web server okay so let me show you this local server this is my active directory same server i'm using for all the videos and active directory and iis i have installed so for that guys first of all you need to install url authorization service for that you need to go to add and remove option and from here you will have to install this i have already installed and showed you in my previous video once again i'm showing you so that you can uh, you know you can uh, see once again so this is how you need to go to this security option in one video i spoke about uh, basic authentication in one video windows authentication and now we are going to understand url authorization okay and couple of things i will be talking about in coming up videos so you have to install this then only it will work so it is already installed so i'm just cancelling this now go to users and computers what i am going to do i will show you here see i created two user one is nryn and second one is narayan if you go to this nryn member of so it is just a member of india.com okay domain user but here i created one it admin group okay and if you see members so this narayan is member of this group so i will give access to this group so we will check whether this this user narayan is able to access website or not or this user is access to uh, this user is able to access website or not okay so once we give permission this narayan should be able to access the website for that very simple you have to go to uh, iis manager so here i have created a two website for my past videos so if you go to this site too okay authentication is like by default anonymous authentication is enabled it will remain uh, enable only and uh, go to authorization so here you will see one thing this is default okay allow all users so as of now it is allowed all users and inherited so we will try here on this website even he, uh, here it should be same so as you can see here anonymous authentication is already enabled okay and if you are enabling you are already you are already url authentication then you will have to use windows authentication anonymous authentication will not work here the first condition okay and once again if you go to authorization so here you are not seeing allow all users because i deleted that so that is why i am showing you here if you if you go to so by default it will show you like this allow all users so anybody can get authorization and as you can see here uh, you are getting two option add allow rule or add deny rule so simply you can go to this option and create one rule here so authorization is nothing but creating rules so just go to add rules okay now you got option add allow authorization rules so allow access to this website contain to to whom you want to give access all users all anonymous users or a specific role or user groups so i'm going to use this option and giving here it admin i gave this okay and you can give a specific user also and you can give certain like you know this will do a specific verb so i'm going just add a group group with this group so just click okay okay 
this is what we have done and just go to once again authentication if you don't allow this windows authentication you will get error you can try once for more understanding just try to browse it and see close it once let's see now so this website is opening i will try to open here by giving ip address okay so let me give 192 dot what hang 192.10 so you are getting error that chrome after some time that chrome will also face the same same sort of problem so you are getting authorization error here you are not authorized to view this page due to invalid authentication header authentication header means we have enabled here anonymous okay but we have to give <coughs> windows so you need to disable this and you will have to enable this and if you refresh this page you will get the website so it is coming once again i will reopen it so now it is coming it is asking for password okay so i'm giving n r y n and giving password so let's see it, it is it is not going to access that website it is not taking that password why because we have not given any permission or this user is not in that group now i'm trying with different user which is a part of that group it admin and i'm giving password so guys we are able to access this website so simply we have enabled authorization here okay windows authentication then we have created one rule here authorization allow it admin only and uh, this is very simple very basic nothing 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 fancy to configure here nothing uh, like a very huge configuration kind of thing and uh, I hope you understood even you can create for this website also if you want like uh, let me show you here we'll, we'll test once again enable this enable this okay and disable this one and uh, go to authorization delete this yes and allow now here we will specific user we will try a specific user so I'm giving an nry and i gave this time allowed okay now i will try to access this website so let me see what is happening here so it is asking for password same thing and uh, here nryn and let me give password so i'm able to open this website too easily so guys this is how we can enable authorization authentication okay even site one is opening okay, side one is opening because we have not enabled uh, this side two i mapped with this port number in my previous video okay that is why it is coming and now i will try one more time 10 so let's see which side is coming i'm giving here i gave nryn access to site 2 okay so that site 2 is my 8000 like this so i will have to give nryn and password so i can access this website simply if i disable this and enable this what will happen site 2 just go to browse and it is, it is opening after some time it will not open that is for sure it takes some time to uh, replicate refresh get refreshed and give 
yes it is coming authorization error okay so guys i hope this is very simple you understood how you can enable authorization rule and uh, authentication and if you want to learn more about it please don't forget to subscribe my channel comment in this video and share this video and next video most probably will be understanding uh, all these things hsts okay preload re redirect to http to https and all so till then bye bye thanks for watching for this video guys